yourself playing about creating lots of watercolour backgrounds but then don't use them all up in your card straight away, then this technique is a great way to use up those surplus watercolour backgrounds from when you were playing around and experimenting. Using heat embossing you can trap the watercolour underneath the stamped image and then lift the colour surrounding it to get stunning backgrounds to use. Whether you use them whole, cut them up or even die cut from them, you can easily use up those backgrounds to create stunning cards. You can use this with any of the watercolour backgrounds, however I find it does work best when you use panels with bright vivid colours. I'm Verity and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, why not think about subscribing so you don't miss out on my next video. So for today's card I'm using the Tropical Stamp from Wow Embossing Powder along with Archer's Hot Press Watercolour Paper as I prefer to use smooth watercolour paper. However, this technique works well with cold press as well. I've cut my paper down and I'm fixing it to a hardboard with masking tape. This is going to help reduce the amount of warping later on. For the first card I'm going to just create an ombre watercolour wash. So using a flat brush I'm applying clear water over the paper as I'm going to be using a wet on wet technique to get a lovely soft blend. The watercolours I'm using are the Alta New 36 pound watercolour set. I find it helpful to keep my watercolour swatch in front of me to help me choose which colours look best. To start off with I'm using fresh lemon at the top of the paper and working through the colours gradually overlapping them to create a seamless blend. Next I use warm sunshine, then sun kissed, then orange cream, then autumn blaze and crimson. The Wild Dual Speed Heat Gun is great for watercolour backgrounds as you can use the slow speed setting to dry your panels without worrying about the panel warping. Now once this is dry I'm applying a second layer of watercolour, drying again in between and then adding a third layer of watercolour to create a bright vivid background. I want to show you another background as I want to show that this technique can work with much more of a non-uniform looking background as well. So again th my panel is taped to my hardboard and I've applied clear water to the panel. This time I'm using a number 12 round brush and adding colour randomly to the panel starting off with Mountain Mist which is a lovely pale turquoise. Using a selection of blues including Lagoon, Ocean Waves, Dusk and Persian Blue I continue to add the colours haphazardly. As with the other background I also dried this panel in between the layers and added another two layers of colours to really intensify the background. Of course removing the masking tape when the panel is dry is the best bit to see that crisp white outline. So to actually lift the colour up we need to first heat emboss the stamp design. However you need to make sure the panels are completely dry before adding the embossing powder otherwise the powder could stick to areas you don't want it to. So the easiest way to check this is to pour your powder over the panel before stamping and if any powder is stuck just brush it away and heat set your panel again to ensure it's dry. So I've placed the tropical stamp in my Misty and using my Wow Clear Ultra Slow Drying Embossing Pad I've stamped the design onto the panel. If you've used cold press watercolour paper I recommend doing this two to three times just to ensure the image has stamped really well on that rougher surface. So to trap the colour but to still be able to see it we need to use clear gloss embossing powder. Once heat set the clear gloss will have a lovely shine to it but you'll still see the colour of the paper beneath. This is great for tone on tone backgrounds and you could leave it like this. However, watercolour for lift can increase the contrast between your stamping and the background, enhancing the design. For the watercolour lift, you will need a spray bottle filled with clear water and some clean paper towel. Now I'm going to show you how I first did it, but then show you how I improved it to get better results. So spritz the card panel quite liberally with water, so you can see the water is starting to form beads on top of the paper. Then using a paper towel apply this over the top pressing it down and allowing the water to soak in. When you lift the paper towel off some of the colour has been transferred from the panel to the towel. Now I found this wasn't as strong as I wanted it so I applied the water again and this time instead of laying the towel over the top I'm using the towel to wipe the water off the panel. This worked much better and created more contrast between the background and the embossing. So I'm going to show you that again here but just using the blue panel instead and showing it close up. Make sure you have enough water on your panel so it beads up before you use the towel. 
and then use the towel in a swiping motion backwards and forwards to lift the colour up. You can do this as many times as you like and the more times you do this, this will increase the contrast as it will be lifting up more colour. So to turn these into cards, I'm applying foam foam to the back of the panels with double sided tape to remove any of the residual warping as we have applied more water after we've removed it from the hardboard. For the first card, I've trimmed the panel down to have a quarter of an inch border and added a white embossed sentiment from Alter New Smile and Hug stamp set and I used the Wow A Paint Bright White Embossing Powder to do this. I thought that this sentiment quite went well with the bright coloured background and I'd hope it would make somebody smile if it came through the post. So for the second panel, I trimmed the panel down slightly and mounted this onto the UK A6 card base and added a black stamped sentiment from Alter News Cherished Memories. Now unfortunately I hadn't trimmed the sentiment strip down very straight. I'm using my cutter line to cut the sentiment strip up and make it much more straighter before I foam mounted this onto the panel. I also created a third card using the off cut from the second panel so don't always throw those off cuts away. Off cut created a lovely pop of colour to help ground an embossed sentiment onto the front of the card. Now all the cards were then finished off using some ice crystal sequin mix from Lucy's cards and adhered those down using Gina K Connect Glue. This technique is such a fun technique and a great way to use watercolour backgrounds in your cards, especially if you have a stack building up. What's more, you can even go further with these by die cutting from them, creating die cut sentiments or even using it to create an ellipse card. The possibilities are endless. This was produced as part of my design teamwork for Wow Embossing Powder and links are listed below. If you'd like 10% discount at the shop, just use the code that you see on screen. If you're not a subscriber already, why not click that button along with the bell icon so you'll be notified when my next video is up. Also, why not check out this other video for some more inspiration. Until next time, happy crafting!